Hello, welcome to the All or Nothing podcast. Our official sponsors are KR Couriers and Transport Limited. Hello everyone, we're all good. Big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Nothing podcast with myself, Billy Moore. There's a channel on YouTube called Let's Go Sit Off that's just dedicated to Darren's Eclipse. Don't know who's behind it. But a clip popped up about a kid called Mikey Wright. I thought, I know that name. So I googled him. And I found out he'd been assassinated in 2008 outside the KFC in Crocky. Gang warfare. He was only young, had a couple of kids. But I remember him from when I was a kid and I boxed him and he could punch. And the fight we had, you know, was one where I've never been it like that in my life. You know, he nearly knocked me out in the first round. He was in the New Monster Rose in Waterloo. And I remember, even on the way to the fight, Paul, our coach, was driving a Schalke Granada. And we're in the back, me and one of the Talons. And he slams on. Paul, with this kid, just running in front of the car. Hit the window screen. Looked at us. Snarled. Waved and then got off. And we were like, what the fuck? No, we just carried on to the venue. And I got in the ring with this kid. Thought it's just one of those, you know, it's just another fight. I swear, in the first round, he's come out and he smashed me with this right, right on the jaw. That just rocked me to my core. <laughs> For what the fuck was that? Right, my head started spinning. I just stayed on my feet and just started boxing, in and out, box. Just jabbed his head off, kept away from that, that right hook. And I won that fight by the skin of my teeth and a majority decision. I thought I wouldn't want to get in the ring with him again. Fuck that, mate. And that was it. Never really seen him again. I think we were passing ships in prison in Stoke Heath years later. Someone said he was in there and I didn't know much about his history and what he was about. But yeah, it's just like how mad it is. You know, the path you take in life. You know, I could have went on to become a potentially good boxer me and you know fought for whatever but you know he ended up on the receiving end of drug dealers you know I was an addict I was in the grip I was in and out of prison I lost everything I just wasted my youth you know whereas he went on had his own business had a couple of kids if she from the reports I've read in the paper two kids got nicked ended up getting big jail for it yeah, man, it's just sad, isn't it? No way life takes you. But yeah, Mikey Wright. That kid. I've got to say, has got the hardest, or did have the hardest punch, you know, on the planet. <laughs> and his path took him to being killed over gang warfare. It's just fucking sad, isn't it? Just... Couple of kids, that's all I remember. Just a couple of kids. He was an hard kid and thought about it and thought I'd just share my my experience with him. And rest in peace. What a fighter he was. Thanks for listening.